In this Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you the five necessary edits you need to apply to your forest, landscape, and or adventure photos for that moody and faded look. In this example, we're going to edit this photo of this moss covered boulder in Washington state. You'll notice I've already applied some basic corrections to the photo because those tweaks specifically will be dependent on your editing style and the photo itself. But here's a before and after of the edits made so far. You can see that not much has changed. For the first necessary edit, we'll be focusing on the white balance by adjusting both the temperature and tint. You'll want to make subtle changes here while making the temperature more cool and the tint more green. Green. The key word here is subtle. For the next necessary edit, we'll be adjusting the vibrance and saturation sliders. Under no circumstance will saturation ever be increased for the entire photo when creating a moody edit, unless you want to increase it for another color other than green, which I'll bring up again later in the video. Again, we'll make a subtle decrease to the saturation, and I actually like to slightly increase the vibrance to give the midtones a bit of a pop. Here's what it looks like if I were to decrease the vibrance as well. Definitely more moody, but I personally think it's a bit too moody for my liking. Considering edit number three, the tone curve is where a lot of the magic happens. While continuing to keep subtle changes in mind, I'll go ahead and make an S curve to boost the contrast ever so slightly. But where I really want to focus is the shadows. In this bottom left corner, we're going to drag the shadows upwards diagonally until we find the perfect amount of fade that works with this photo. Perfect. That faded matte look is one of my favorite Lightroom edits, and I think I do it on 90% of my non-client work. Next, of course, is the color mixer panel, where you'll really only focus on two colors, yellow and green. Go ahead and adjust the hues, saturation, and luminance to your liking. Again, if you decide to adjust the saturation slider on green and or yellow, make sure that you're decreasing it to truly encapsulate that moody feeling. If the photo you're working on has other colors, feel free to adjust those colors as well, including increasing their saturation if you'd like. For example, my photo actually has some of what Lightroom calls the aqua color to it, so I just desaturated it completely. A couple of bonus tips, with the first being adding a touch of blue to the midtones. I found that this minor edit really pushes the photo in the moody direction a lot more. Here's the before and after for reference. And the other bonus tip is vignetting, but please don't overdo it guys. Again, here's the before and after. It's all about those subtle changes stacking on top of each other to create the moody edit we're aiming for. The fifth and final edit, or panel I should say, that we'll focus on is the calibration panel, where you can add your finishing touches. While most of the edits made are subjective, this panel is truly where you can make the photo your own. The only catch of course is in this case, we won't be increasing saturation on any of the primary colors. From here, I'd probably click the R key to give this photo a bit of a crop, and there you have it. You can truly see how much has transformed when we look at the before and after. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, guys. I really hope you found the information in this Lightroom tutorial valuable. For more Lightroom tips and tricks, feel free to visit the playlist on your screen now, and I'll see you there.